Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name's Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube and I use spirits, my intuition, the tarot to communicate energies to you guys. Most amazing, beautiful viewers. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so grateful to have you here. Hopefully these messages resonate for you. And if you're returning, I'm so blessed to have you here today. I cannot wait to get into your reading. We're doing the moon month ahead. So energy is coinciding with the new moon, which happens to fall on May 7th. And it is a new moon in Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign, all about getting grounded and um, connecting back to self, to earth, and really taking things slow. So let's take a look at the month ahead and we'll finish off with some guidance from spirit as well and see what we have. So for this month, I generally do the zodiac readings but i thought i would try a pick a card let me know how you guys like this in comparison to the zodiac readings although i will continue to do those um but for this new moon i do want to try to do it this way okay so we have three options to choose from and if at any point you're called to any one of these cards, the timestamp will be in the description box and in the pinned comment below. It will take you directly to your pick. We will be picking charms and revealing these cards shortly. Option one, two, and three. All right, so let's take a look at your cards. So for option one, we have the Benevolent Guide. Oh my goodness. So this is card number 57 with the Benevolent Guide. Option number two, we have blood with 37. Blood. Wow. And option number three, and we have the darkening with number 12. All right. Very different energies coming through all three piles. Let me pull a charm for option one, spirit. Energy with the new moon and Taurus for option one. We have the star, beautiful star energy. And for option number two, your charm is this little bunny and he's standing on his back legs. He looks like the bunny from Alice in Wonderland. Little caricature bunny, rabbit, hair. Option number two. We have this gymnast or yoga pose. Uh, I think this is the the tree pose. I'm not sure what it's called. It's a yoga pose. Okay. So you have your three options to choose from. I'll leave the video running for a bit so you guys can sit with the energy. Use your intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear to determine whether the energy is sitting right with you. And if you are called to more than one, it could just mean multiple messages for you. All right. So don't force anything to fit. We're looking at the overall essence of the energy in that pile that is going to be with the new moon. And then, like I said, we will be asking spirit for guidance for the month ahead. All right. So I'll let the video run and the timestamps are down below and I will see you guys at your pick. Hello, hello, beautiful pile number one. You guys picked the Benevolent Guide with card number 57 and this beautiful star energy. So this is a beautiful energy with the Benevolent Guide. It is being guided by unworldly sources. So your spirit team, um, something divinely guided by spirit. You being led, lots of signs, symbols, synchronicities, um, and this is a beautiful sort of angelic energy and i'm seeing all of the colors here in the rainbow which i'm feeling is connecting back to chakra energy so i feel this is very much about self self discovery self journey potentially there is a spiritual sort of shift within you and with the star this is certainly about fate and destiny and our wishes or hopes for the future Aquarius energy from the star. 
So let's take a look and lay these cards out and see what all is this new moon in Taurus about uh, energetically for this month ahead for you. And then we'll be looking at some guidance as well. So let's take a look. Now, please use your intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear to determine whether this messaging is sitting right with you. All right, don't force anything to fit. So we have the lilies. Oh my goodness. Card number 30, the king of spades, which is king of swords coming through there. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Lilies is all about experience, tenure, sensuality. Okay, and we have resistance. And we have hold. This egg, egg is about rebirth. Hold could be connected back to resistance. Someone kind of getting in the way here of a rebirth. Okay, and then we have leap. This is giving me fool energy, more Aquarius energy coming through this reading. With the leap, new beginning, a rebirth, new beginning. And we have octopus, practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and your mannerisms. Octopus is giving me this king of spades, which is king of swords energy. Very intellectual. Okay, and then we have uh, Eridanus with confidence, 21, constellation, or the number three. And we have the full moon in Taurus with detoxify. So Taurus coming through, although it is a new moon, not a, a full moon detoxify and we have full moon in virgo take inspired action virgo energy lots of earth coming through yes lots of earth and air we have joy and beautiful yellow ray which is solar plexus all about confidence confidence coming through inspired action and we have perfume, vanity, deception, and performativity. Okay, this is giving me ego. We have a union. Look at that. Two rhinoceroses, a dark and a light, a yin and a yang. Balance, masculine, feminine, coming together with the union. Okay. And we have old woman of dreams, card number 14, the maker of visions. Or card number five. Okay. And we have Reclaiming the Feminine. Number 15. This could be the Devil and the Tarot, which is Capricorn energy. Or the number six, which is about the lovers connecting back to this union. And Reclaiming the Feminine is feminine energy here, which comes present with the moon. Okay. And we have Purity with this wolf with two different colored eyes okay where do we put this let's put this over here and we have the book sorry you look like the back of the card so the book card number 26 or eight and the ten of diamonds which is ten pentacles the book and the book is closed. This is a Lenormand. The book's all about knowledge. Although the, the book being closed could be we're not seeing something here. Yeah, okay. So let me sit with this energy and then I will get into your reading. You can click straight away to your main reading and the timestamp. Okay, beautiful pile number one. This is the new moon reading, the month ahead. It looks to me like maybe you might be coming outside of your comfort zone. And it's been difficult for you to sort of trust in the guidance of what's been going on, I think, around you. you now, for some of you guys, this could be just allowing yourself to be vulnerable and be... Be open to trusting the situation that you're in. It could be a relationship, a connection, a situationship, whatever is going on in your world here. I, I feel as though it is pushing you 
and it is pushing you for the better, but I feel like there is some resistance. There is you sort of second guessing and getting in your way, and it could be potentially because you're seeing what could go wrong or possibly what hasn't gone right or what has, might have gone wrong in the past or lacking some sort of confidence and allowing yourself to connect with with energy here that's bringing in a lot of love a lot of joy and so i think we're letting our mind get in the way i think we're letting our ego get in the way i think we're letting how we might appear get in the way i think we're letting what we don't know get in the way and i feel like there is a need to allow things to flow to be receptive to allow things to come to you and to allow yourself to be in an energy here that connects deeply with authenticity of how you're truly feeling when it comes to your feelings inside and how you're connecting. And so this will require you to release a lot of unhealthy self-speak and maybe unhealthy ways of how you tend to connect because I feel like there might be habitual things here that you do or just ways of you showing up that aren't completely reflective of what you want. And because there might be a lack of confidence in appearing in a certain way or doing something that you might regret or just because you don't see where it will go. And so it's at the cost of you experiencing joy and connecting on a deep level and experiencing heart-based sort of connection and, and love and enjoyment now this does not necessarily have to be in a connection so much because this could mean not engaging in activities that would bring us deep deep joy out of a sense of failing or that we would not know what we're doing or that we would eventually not be successful or and so the messaging here is that you're heavily protected and guided by spirit, by your spirit team, that whatever it is here for all of you guys, it's something different. Like I said, could be a connection um, with another, or it could be you connecting to something that really speaks to you. It's been brought into your life, divinely guided here. And I do see it has a place in your future here, but you're potentially seeing things from your mind's eye and so there's doubt and hesitancy and resistance and you getting in the way of this beautiful thing sort of cracking open i feel like it's a new sort of thing for you i feel like it opens the door to something new like a new way of being a new sort of energy here that i feel will connect to you in a very soulful level sensual level deep level but i i feel like it, it might make you uncomfortable because i do feel like it requires you to trust in spirit and your guidance and also if the ego is in the way and the mind is in the way we we might lack the confidence or feel like we aren't doing something right or that we need to i don't know be someone else that we're not and so for the month ahead i, I feel you're working on getting balance here masculine feminine energy coming into balance tapping into this feminine energy that you have within which allows you to connect to feelings be receptive to receiving love and not feeling like you have to be someone maybe that you're not or feel like you're somebody yeah that you're you're not really here I feel like there's something about what you're not seeing that's troubling you in some way. And I think you're not seeing it. Yeah, there's something about you not seeing something here. I'm going to pull some tarot to see what you're not seeing. And what it is that you are seeing is causing you to have the resistance, causing you to get in the way or, I don't know, not allow this to move forward. 
And this is growth for self in a very profound way here. It's all about sort of being reborn in a new energy that allows you to enjoy, that allows you to experience. And this would require you releasing with this detoxify certain ways of being here that I feel maybe have become very habitual for you that are problematic. And so maybe we tend to fall back on things we know or things that are destructive or things that cause us comfort, although it doesn't allow us to shift into new energy and then we sort of remain distracted not wanting to see what maybe we missed out on or not wanting to acknowledge what could be potential here for us so really getting sort of in our mind about it instead of going after it and so this messaging is saying that this is an opportunity for you to go after it for something to crack open here for you to allow yourself to work with the spirit team with the energy of the new moon rather than resist and and maybe do what you generally do or typically would do here if you start to have doubt about self Let's pull some tarot to see some more, and then we'll pull some guidance. So, Spirit, for Pile 1, clear and concise message here for beautiful Pile 1. What are they needing to know about this new moon in Taurus? The energy in the new moon in Taurus for beautiful Pile 1. What are they needing to know right here, right now? Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of Pile 1. And thank you so much, Pal One, for allowing me to tap into your energy, the energy around you at this time. I'm truly blessed. Thank you so much. A deeper look at the messaging for Pal One, Spirit. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Practical energy. And under that we have the Two of Cups. And this is this balance I was feeling, this union coming together. So for some of you guys, it could certainly be connecting in a partnership. Okay, or just showing up here in a balanced way to find harmony between you and whatever it is that's going to provide you some level of security, some level of confidence, I feel as though, yeah, there's there's an energy here of security, confidence, and stability, and practicality in you showing up, in you coming together here in a partnership for this new moon energy that I'm seeing here. But I do feel as though you're having to overcome or deal with a certain aspect of yourself and and for a lot of you guys this could be an aspect of yourself that's been like um unknown to you maybe it's been unknown to you or maybe you just haven't seen it in the same way that you are going to see it in this sort of new moon it's going to make itself maybe yeah it's going to make itself present in a way that maybe you see it differently than you have in the past, which allows there to be a shift. And so I think in the past we might have been seeing ourselves from one sort of mind, ego getting in the way, causing us to maybe lose confidence in self or our ability to connect. And I feel like there's an opportunity here that allows you to feel confidence that allows you to feel secure enough that allows you to do this yes that allows you to do this tapping into this energy that maybe is foreign to you maybe it's like i said you've resisted sort of tapping into this because maybe it never felt 
a sort of like something that you, you'd be comfortable connecting to, something foreign to you. So we have the five wands in reverse. This is the conflict and it could certainly be when we're really sort of conflicted from within and it causes all sorts of sort of challenges with people around us and in our own life and inside because this sort of an energy of resistance doesn't allow things to flow and it is in reverse okay eight wands in reverse as well so i do feel let's let's flip them all and see what we see king of wands in reverse aries leo sagittarius energy this is that confidence energy okay it is in reverse tower page of pentacles two of pentacles and the sun oh my goodness leo energy okay month ahead i think this is like painting the picture exactly of sort of the energy here that you're going to be seeing so i feel like there has been conflict okay conflict because i feel it's a lack of confidence in you going after what you want is what i feel so things have been stuck we haven't been able to communicate what we want go after what we want attain what we want and so i feel like there is something here that surprises you and it could be your own self surprising yourself with this change okay or just the energy shift here the tower is all about sudden sort of changes that happen or incidences that happen that make things sort of shift and i feel like the shift here and the change here allows there to be an opening for you to start with your confidence here and in, in allowing something new to begin okay page of pentacles is something new it's the beginning communication pentacles is you know a practical way to make things happen here an opportunity to follow up on something that makes itself available and the choice is yours and i feel like the choice could be one where it's a dif difficult one to make if we're in old energy, if we resist, if we get in the way of ourselves. But I feel like the tower here is you sort of recognizing, you sort of recognizing when you're in this sort of energy and looking at this in a different way that provides clarity with the sun. I think you get very clear. I think you get very certain. I think you understand what makes you happy. I think you know what's going to be the practical choice here for you rather than the one that makes you feel sort of not very confident. That makes you feel like you can't go after it. The sun is the most positive card in the tarot. It's all about joy and bliss and you have it coming out here and then you have the joy card. It's like you can see what makes you happy. You can see maybe your old ways of being of maybe resisting or shutting out closing off not following up on what would make you happy so there is some detoxifying of old ways and then there is this tower so i want to see what this tower is about and then we will pull some guidance for you spirit what is this tower about for pile number one. What is this tower energy about? Of the world. Concluding a cycle. The end of something here. The end of a phase. Successful conclusion. Okay. And this is generally talking about a long cycle. So I feel like you're closing your chapter to something here that's been a long part of your world. In order for there to be a new beginning with this egg here, like we talked about in the card layout, which is all about incubating for the new and potentially working with the universe and your spirit team here. Something that might have been on hold for a very long time, or you getting in the way of something new, kind of birthing for self, in order for you to leap into what you want, to have the confidence to leap towards something new here that's going to crack open for you but it would require you putting an end detoxifying from old ways of being because i think you weren't seeing something something was uh, either not revealed to you in a way that you could understand it or you were seeing it in a different way through the mind the mind and the ego rather than through the heart and soul and now you're being divinely guided 
with whatever this opportunity is to lead you to experience this, whatever this is, that will provide a lot of security here and confidence and joy and bliss and certainty and contentment. Ace of Cups, look at that. It's a new emotional beginning. And the Ace of Cups is all about self-love, self-worth, filling one's own cup up. So a new beginning in love, love of self, so that we're able to show up with the two cups, which we saw, which is a balanced union, a balanced partnership, and being the best version of ourselves so that we can show up and give love. And so there is a new beginning here for you, okay? With the world, this is all about new beginnings because we've finished, we've closed out a chapter. And so the only way to have a new beginning is to close things out in our life and allow ourselves to move forward without fear, without trying to sort of get in the way of our own happiness. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, so let's pull some guidance for you guys. All right. Guidance for pile one. Wow, one card went sliding over. Spirits, clear and concise message. Guidance for beautiful pile one for this new moon. New moon energy for beautiful pile one. And one of these. All right. I'm feeling this one as well. Okay, pile one. Let's see. What is your guidance? Unconditional love. Oh my goodness, beautiful. My heart is free from resentment towards others. I open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. I am aware that suffering can cause distress and hurt in people. I see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness. I think this is love of self. I feel there, there was maybe a block here in allowing yourself to enjoy what it is that you enjoy without getting in the way so there might have been a lot of reflection here deep reflection as to what makes you happy and providing yourself unconditional love so that you can welcome things into your life here that allow you to experience them beautiful unconditional love okay transformation yeah massive transformation i am constantly evolving i improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths Life ensures I am presented with situations that will help me learn and grow. I am aware of my progress and open my wings to the light. You guys, I'm so proud of you guys. I feel like I've read for this energy before. And I feel like it's been a long cycle. I feel like it's been really long in you allowing and trusting yourself to come out. And this is a massive transformation of yourself. Connecting to your heart space. Connecting to sensuality and experience in a way that touches your heart base so that you're able to show up in an authentic way and trust the universe that's guiding you in this transformation without resistance and getting in the way here despite what we might not have seen about ourselves, and allowing ourselves to work with the universe so we can find love of self wow okay well this is sort of like a confirmation rather than guidance and advice Con confirming your transforming confirming situation here which i said the opening of a situation with this tower here allows you to evolve by choosing different by making a choice different here i feel like you make a choice that comes together rather than maybe i don't know like is what you generally do which could be resist or block or get stuck in some way elephant spirit to learn from the past 25 yeah you no longer are interested in past ways of being because i think you recognize how you might have been damaging to self here with this learn from the past it's you've experienced enough for you to close out a chapter in your life so that you can experience something new like you can see the light now you have clarity certainty about what you need to do here in order to enjoy yourself and transform this about you. Surrender to joy. Yeah, so you guys are so sweet. Look, joy coming out, the sun coming out. It's like there was a difficulty in you accepting to engage in joyous things that speak to your heart. 
A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Keep surrendering to more joy. Wow. Pile number one. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation compassionately, accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So resisting joy for whatever their cause is, okay? Confidence, fears, things that happened in the past, uncertainties. But I, I feel like the massive transformation here for this new moon month is you connecting to unconditional love of self. For you recognizing a situation here that allows you the opportunity to connect with joy without getting in the way with your mind or your old ways of being or whatever it is that you might have done in the past. You're being heavily protected and guided here, okay? For you to surrender to what you're experiencing here. And the universe wants to give you what you want here. The universe wants to give you your wishes. The universe wants to give you love, okay? Wants to make you feel unconditional love in order for you to receive this so that you can partake in this joyous sort of experience here and only you can get in the way by fighting or telling yourself or resisting so this is beautiful and i'd love to hear in the comments if this is you because i do feel i've read for you for quite some time here and this has been quite the journey getting to this point but i feel like we're finally at the stretch of surrendering to allow things to be so that beautiful love can radiate and permeate through your through your soul here okay and look at her white dress and we have purity here whatever this is is something very pure that you can trust okay like very much being guided here by spirits it is something very pure very trustworthy something you can rely on when we saw that queen of pentacles here okay stability um it's reliability so this is what we have pile number one i hope this helped you and i will see you soon Bye bye hello hello my beautiful gorgeous angels you guys picked the blood card with 37 and the hair that looks like the hair from alice in wonderland looking at the pocket watch something about timing something about timing coming through um and we also have blood here which is life source life source and the rose to me is all about romance and love so something coming to life here, something divinely timed. So pile number two, we're going to get into your energy. We're looking at the moon month ahead. This is a new moon in Taurus. Okay, Taurus is an earth sign. It's all about getting grounded, connecting to self and connecting to earth and taking things slow. And so we're looking at what the month ahead has here energetically, the moon month, and then we'll be looking at some guidance as well. So energetically what's coming in. I do ask you to use your intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear to determine whether this messaging is for you. And let us see what your cards are showing here. So let's see. We're getting very little bits, uh, very little bits uh, of energy here, but I'm not too sure what we're seeing. So we have the star, beautiful star charm came out for pile one. Six of hearts, which is six cups. That's my soulmate's energy. Six of hearts. This is um, connecting to your inner child. A person, place, thing of the past. Stars all about our wishes or hopes. Healing. Okay, 16. Number 16 or the number seven. Stars also about uh, divine uh, intervention, faded things. I feel like the divine timing is coming through again. We have unique gifts. Look at that beautiful energy. And we have uh, confidence. This came out for pile one. Not this card, but confidence. Wow. Okay. And then we have joy. You guys, did you guys come here from pile one? Joy. Joy also came out for pile one, but in a different card. Look at this. So I'm getting inner child from this playful sun. Okay. Um, Leo energy coming through. Yeah, heavy inner child here, joy. I'm also getting, yeah, strong energy from one coming through here right now. Feel, look at that. And she has, I forget what type of mushroom that is, sort of growing from her. And it's funny because we're using the mushroom tarot here to clarify. I mean, I feel and we have the moon in the background. The moon is all about our feelings. 
Water is all about emotions. A feminine energy coming through. Again, I'm feeling pile one. We have unicorn. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. Beautiful. Unicorns all about signs, symbols, synchronicities. Once in a lifetime things that make itself present to us. This is the same energy as feeling through one. Still. Okay. Generosity. Vulpecula with the foxes here. This is constellation number 30. Or the number three. Three is all about growth, relationships, initial success. A fox could be being tricked or having to be stealth-like. Could have to do with career. And we're seeing here some form of artistic expression here. Generosity. Generosity is coming through with the six cups here. Okay. Let's keep going. We have full moon and Capricorn. Take a reality check. Capricorn energy. Lots of moon energy. We have rejection. Look at the paintbrushes here and we were getting artistic expression here. So someone could certainly be very creative in art or creating some sort of expression of self or art. We have locket. Commitment, loved ones, and partnership. Wow. Okie dokie. And we have courage. Look at the beautiful lion. I'm getting Leo energy and I'm getting heavy divine masculine energy coming through. Yeah, Leo very strong. Okay. And Aquarius energy coming through as well. Yes. And then Capricorn here. Okay, we have the Isle of Women, number 17, Women's Mysteries. Wow, okay. And then we have Selkie, the Soulkin, with the mermaid. The Soulkin, okay. And we have Stillness. Look at this beautiful swan. Swans do represent love if there's two swans i generally see twin flame i only see one swan here this is love coming through it does say stillness it's white so purity this is very connected to one i feel here and tree look at all the tree energy tree is all about health it's all about stability it could be our family roots here it's connecting back to the six cups seven cups coming through here fantasies Lots of options. I'm seeing a lot of butterflies here. And then we have the number five. Five is all about conflict, change, rebuilding, tree energy. Okay, I do really want to read this Selkie energy here because I'm not too familiar with the energy that's coming through. Um, let's see. Selkie. Four. I think it's going to be over. Oh, look at that. We open to the Isle of Women. We might as well read the Isle of Women as well. So it says in Irish mythology, Turna Emben, the Isle of Women, is an island which lies far across the Western Sea, sometimes called the land of the living. It's a beautiful country of many colors filled with music, flowers, trees, and birds. In the British tradition, Avalon too is the Isle of Women, whose inhabited tents, epitomized by the character of Morgan Le Fay, are healers and scholars. The Isle of Women is a place in which women's mysteries are celebrated, a place which allows them to be explored in the safety and sisterhood. It's a hidden and protected land. Men come here uninvited to their pearl. The women's mysteries which are honored and explored here include the blood mysteries of menarch menstruation motherhood and menopause the creative mysteries which spark the blossoming of new life art and ideas art coming through blood coming through creativity coming through divine feminine coming through with the moon the archetypal feminine in all its forms is also celebrated on the isle of women it's a place where the lost or damaged feminine can be explored reclaimed and reimagined it's a temenos sanctuary is protected from the outer world and what's contained within it belongs only to women this card invites you to find a safe place and to rest a while rest a while stillness 
Okay. Um, the rest of the while, as you explore the mysteries of the feminine, in this sacred, invaluable space, you can explore the ma and ma the manifold. <laughs> you can explore the manifold ways in which those forces show up in your own life. Okay, so definitely heavy divine feminine, which we were feeling already, but I really wanted to read the Selkie. This one was speaking to me. It says, the Selkie story tells of a woman whose seal skin has been stolen by the man who wants her to stay with him and be his wife. Because of that theft, she's forced to remain in the human form, which Selkies are usually able to adopt just once a month. At the time of the full moon, as a result, the seal woman is quite literally taken out of her briny element and trapped on land where she cannot find a way to fully belong. She loses her place in the world. She... Cons cons oh my goodness, Linda. She loses her place in the world and consequently loses her story, her sense of who she really is, her authentic self. The Selkie then represents yearning, yearning for a part of ourselves that we feel we've lost or maybe a part that we feel we might once have had but never really understood. So many of us lose our skins and we lose them young. The consequences of the loss of the disconnectedness, the separation from our true nature and what nourishes and empowers us often becomes apparent only after many years this card encourages you to remember your lost skin your unique sense of self your unique creative power as a woman to remember the pelt that once smelt so wonderfully of home and of yourself and all of your natural wildness how can you begin to grow a new skin a skin that represents the heart of who you are now and allows you to accept and fully embody the wild woman within Oh, wowzers. Wowzers, 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 wowzers. Pile number two. What's happening here? I feel as though this new moon is really, really significant here energetically. Because I feel like you do feel you've lost a part of yourself. And for a lot of you guys, it is in connecting with another and it could be at some point you got really hurt or lost yourself in a connection. And so I feel as though it's been slowly but surely you working on yourself in order for you to find the core of who you are so that you can stand up and with confidence find that joy again allow yourself to feel without feeling like you can't trust or like you'd be rejected here. So I feel there's a lot of reflection here based on what has happened, but it's guiding you into what it is that you want for yourself. I feel like you now see clearly, you now see clearly your value. You now see clearly what it is you're wanting. You now see clearly how to give it to yourself. And I feel as though it took a bit to get here. And I feel as though this experience has been a part of you rebuilding self. And I feel like you're going to feel like you're given a whole new sort of zest for life here in a way that is the new you. The new you. So if you lacked sort of some confidence because you took a confidence blow and some situation here that left you feeling like you were undeserving or like you weren't getting what you wanted in a, in a relationship is what I feel here. You're feeling rejected. You are feeling maybe abandoned or you're feeling disconnected. And it could be because you were trying to create some sort of partnership here stability long term and so i think the, the truth comes to you with this blood and take a reality check and i think it's divinely timed in a way that was supposed to come to you when it was supposed to come to you to allow you to heal to allow you to have hope here to see that you can partake in connection here that would provide you joy that that is out there for you, that you do not have to suffer, you do not have to play someone else's sort of 
world or be someone to someone else that's not you. And so I do feel here that you've been not authentically yourself for quite some time. And I don't think you were trying to be someone false, but I think you were really trying to connect because I think you really wanted to find joy. And throughout this experience, I think you learned a lot about yourself and a lot of your unique gifts coming through here. So you learned certain aspects of yourself. Your creative sort of energy also was birthed. I think you were inspired to get creative or to support some of your unique gifts, however they manifested. It could be artistic ways of creation. It could be psychic ways with this unique gifts and this unicorn. You could have connected to the dream world, to your psychic abilities, to tapping into the unknown here, or being inspired to create art. I feel there's a heavy creation here. There was an outlet here. And so I feel like with this new moon, you're being reborn here. Pile number two into this beautiful energy. Now, if you're not a feminine energy, it is connecting to all that is feminine. But I do feel this is a heavy feminine energy. Okay? A feminine energy that was wounded. A feminine energy that was rejected. A feminine energy that is now finally seeing that she has been there for herself and she hasn't been alone but she needs to be there for herself with grace with love with compassion rather than staying in maybe um a situation where she's had to not be herself or where there was a lot of maybe uncertainty here with the seven hearts, seven cups. Okay, because seven cups is like a lot of options here and confusion. And here we have the locket, which is commitment and loved ones and partnership. So if you're in a situation where you just felt like you weren't attaining what it was that you wanted in a partnership here in regards to commitment, I feel like you now see. You now see exactly your self-worth. You now see exactly what you can create here. You now see rejection for what it actually is and release any feelings of feeling rejected or where your self-confidence might have been impacted by situations. It made you feel alone or like you were, I feel like, I don't know, sitting with, with a lot of emotions here that were very difficult for you to process and heal from. But I feel there is a strength coming through here. You getting empowered and you taking charge of your own life and you really knowing what it is that you want. Yeah, like you really knowing what you want. You really having a strong sense of confidence here and, and knowing you want some sort of stability in your life here. Focusing on yourself, thinking of self. And I think also really tapped into spirit here with this third eye this unicorn this unique gifts like being fed information in your dream world or just downloads coming from spirit here that are very clear and very clear to you okay and it's it's giving you renewed hope and i feel like it's taken some time here to get to this point but i feel like it's been happening this way for a while for a reason i should say Let's pull some tarot to get deeper look, and then we'll pull some guidance. Spirit, thank you so much for this message for pile two. I don't know. It, it seems to me like pile two could be a flip person here from pile one, because I do feel there was this very strong connection energetically. Spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of beautiful pile number two. What did I miss? What do they need to know about this new moon and Taurus energy for the month ahead? Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, pile number two, for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. 
I'm truly blessed. Two swords. Indecision. Under that, seven of pentacles in reverse. Under that, nine of wands in reverse. Under that, temperance in reverse. Under that, ten swords. Okay. So, ten swords. Ending. I think you put something to an end here. Pile number two. Something comes to an end here, okay? And it could be you were sitting in some limbo land here with two swords. Waiting or working maybe with something unclear. And I feel like there's uh, um, an energy of just uh, surrendering, abandoning, no longer investing in something here that was imbalanced, that didn't allow you to heal. There's an ending here and there's a new beginning. Okay, and this, this Ace of Pentacles is giving me this locket, this commitment, this loved one, this partnership. Okay, I feel there's a new beginning here in, in a real way here for you. And I feel like there is an energy here of someone who might have been with the Emperor in reverse that you experienced that was incapable of showing up here. Okay, Divine Masculine Energy, Aries Energy. So it could have been that somebody was undecided and kept you in limbo. Someone you invested a lot of energy, effort, time. Nothing really manifested. And I see there's a surrendering here, but there was a long battle. I feel there's a long battle and a fight here. And then there's a, a sort of a, a surrender. Okay, because things were very imbalanced and there was a need to, to heal. There's a need to find, find balance and find a manifestation of something solid. So that you can come to life here. So that you can give to something that loves you and that you're able to unconditionally give your sort of your own energy towards here i feel this becomes very clear to you so let's take a look what is this all about we have the wheel of fortune yeah again this divine timing coming through something faded to happen the way it's happened here with this wheel of fortune and you moving on to better things a turn of circumstances here. By ending something that's not working, we get to turn the wheel of fortune in our favor so we can manifest the new beginning. Four swords in reverse. Yeah, it's like we're no longer waiting around. We're coming out of a period of reflection where we've had to really sit and think about, you know, the types of energies that we allow in our life, the types of people that we want around us. And we have the Page of Swords in reverse. So Pages is all about communication. Page of Swords in reverse could be multiple meanings here. Sometimes it could be somebody we're dealing with here that could be quite immature with the Emperor in reverse as well. But I'm feeling it could be somebody who is uncertain. Okay, with the two swords, the Page of Swords in reverse. Like someone who is unclear, someone who is uncertain, someone who wasn't providing something that we thought maybe we needed from them but we don't and we realize here that all we need is our own sort of confidence in self to manifest to manifest love to manifest commitment to manifest and have the universe work with us towards getting what we want here we're no longer in, in a sort of four swords energy here trying to heal ourselves and lick our wounds and stay in unclear situations two of wands I feel like there's a, an abandoning of something here that didn't come to fruition because it didn't, I don't know, someone didn't choose this connection. Someone couldn't make a choice here. Someone was uncertain about choosing this connection. And so it's, I think this creates some opening here for you to surrender and acceptance of self. And allows you things to shift for the positive for you so you can manifest something. And I think you manifest something very quickly in this month. Something that's brought to life here in your life that I think you were destined to create. And I think this brings in what you want. This brings in commitment. This brings in partnership. Your confidence. Your ability to trust in surrendering to the universe brings in what you want. I think you see this because I think you want the joy. And I think you no longer want to feel sort of stuck here in an unclear situation with this Emperor in reverse and this Page of Swords in reverse and all of these 
indecision sort sort of cards here feeling rejection feeling like you're not in control of your own future and stability and what you can create for self so i think you have to think of self and i feel you sort of stealthily sort of deal with whatever you need to deal with i don't know you're focused on yourself here so let's get just a deeper layer here before we get into the guidance for pile two what is this new moon energy all about for pile two spirit what can they expect for the moon month ahead thank you so much a deeper layer anything i've missed anything they need to know right here right now in regards to the moon month ahead thank you spirit okay so we have the devil Capricorn energy, we have the hangman, Pisces energy, two major arcana. We have the knight of pentacles spinning around, and it is in reverse. Why is this devil energy here, spirits? Nine swords in reverse. And why is this hangman here? And we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And why is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse here? Six of Cups coming through. Six of Cups came through the star and the card layout. Death. Wow. Endings. Scorpio energy. Under that we have five wands in reverse. I do feel a connection to one. And this could certainly be flipped sort of readings here. If you are connecting to a relationship with somebody here who's been very having very difficult time allowing themselves to love and be loved transformation i feel like there's massive massive spiritual transformation here there's a letting go I'm letting go of the old because i feel it's caused a lot of conflict here between you and potentially the way you feel about self because of being involved maybe with somebody here who's held you back with the devil Okay, this is a card of obsessions, being held back, unhealthy ways of being, and I feel like it caused a lot of anxiety. Okay, a lot of sleepless nights. The death with the Nine of Swords is an ego death and a dark night of the soul and a huge, massive spiritual awakening. Okay, so we are feeling held back. We weren't sure how to break out. We're now seeing things completely different with the hangman here. Okay, we're seeing things completely different. Now, I do feel like there's deep love here for you from this King of Cups. And I feel like we now see something differently about love, about how this person loves. Okay, this is deep love. King of Cups is a mature love. But the King of Cups is incapable of sometimes showing up or taking action on the love he feels. And so I feel like we're seeing something here differently. And we're seeing an inability to manifest and, and move something forward here with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And so I, I feel like there is connecting back to the inner child. There could certainly be a reconciliation with someone from the past. There could be an acceptance here of someone's love, despite what has manifested here in sort of a practical way. But there's a new way of looking at things here, which I think allows things to shift and turn. But I feel whatever was causing a lot of anxiety and keeping you sort of held back here in devil energy is something that you're now seeing differently. So I do wanna see what is this six cups about? Because Six Cups is a person, place, thing of the past, you know, or ancestors or hometown or roots. And it could be reconciliation. Sometimes that's the soulmates card. And this is right beside this King of Cups, which I don't feel is your energy. So we have heavy Pisces energy coming through. What is with the Six Cups here, Spirit? Ace of Cups, a new beginning, an emotional new beginning. I think there's reconciliation here. Okay, but the Ace of Cups is all about self-love, self-worth. I feel like there's returning back to inner child. And I feel there's a reconciliation. And it could be coming of self, coming into self. Let's see, what's with this King of Cups here? Why is there a King of Cups here, Spirit? Four of Wands, Union. I 
feel a connection to pile one, you guys. Okay, union. This is also my 1111 twin flames coming together. I feel there's soulmates here. There's a soul connection. There's union, marriage right on top of this commitment, partnership. Okay, this is the marriage card, celebration, commitment. On top of this, king of cups. I think there's a lot of anxiety around you. And somebody might have felt very stuck here with the devil. And I'm feeling a tie to one, which you might want to go watch because I'm feeling a lot of one's energy stuck. Devil energy, anxiety, incapable of making some sort of change here. And I feel like there's seeing things differently. And I don't know necessarily now that this is your energy. Somebody who feels a lot of love here, okay, who wants to come together, who wants to have union, who wants to have a new beginning who's learning about self-love here, who has not been able to manifest practical commitment or anything here in a, in a sort of stable way, is massive transformation, which will change things here. Letting go of the old. So I feel like you come into some realization as someone around you comes into some realization. So lots of mirroring. Six swords, yeah, moving out of five sword situations. So if you were in a difficult partnership, I feel like you've had enough, okay? I feel like you've had enough, and I feel like you come into some sort of understanding of self. I think you birthed something here, and I feel like whoever's connected to you, if you resonate with this message, I understand it's not everyone's sort of situation, but this is what I see here, is somebody completely getting enlightened and seeing their feelings here in a different way in regards to how they show up and act and come together and find peace. So I feel like they want reconciliation. I feel like they want a new beginning. They want to come together here, which is requiring them to have this massive, massive change in their life. And so I feel like this brings about massive change in the connection between you and whatever this person is and brings you guys out of strife and five swords and yeah, manifestation of something. So whatever it wasn't able to manifest is now able to manifest. I also feel strong communication coming from the magician. Okay, so let's get some advice for you guys pile number two okay advice for pile two spirits yeah i don't know your energy around you of whatever person you're involved with here kind of took charge of this back end of this reading so spirits can we please get advice guidance for pile two what is the guidance and the advice here for pile two yeah i feel like someone's like I don't know, like really like intertwined here in your energy in some way here to come and show up in the back end of this reading. But I, I do feel as though there's massive sort of change on both ends here. That's what I'm feeling. So shift of energy for sure. And divine timing, like I said, with this hair and this clock. Listen to life. I'm attentive to the world around me. Signs and symbols guide me to success. I listen and discover the way to eternal. Yes, like we said during the card layout. Signs, symbols, synchronicities. I think you're being guided here by the star. Being guided, okay? The wheel of fortune. Definitely being divinely guided here. The calm. I breathe, live, and grow. The light within me. I do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment. I cast off my doubts. All fear dissipates and I find peace in my being. Yes, you find peace in your being. I feel you feel very calm here with this stillness. This one swan. I think you're able to connect to self. Okay. And panther spirits, reclaim your power. I think you do exactly that. 44 is a master number. Integrity is a foundation. Treating the earth as home, which is all about Taurus energy, manifestation and leadership. And we saw the magician here, which is all about manifesting by reclaiming your power, by taking charge of your own sort of energy here, connecting to your divine feminine. I think you shift the situation here. You reclaim your power. The situation changes. Things shift. Surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So you definitely connect. I think you connect in a way you haven't before. I think divinely, whatever situation you're in here with a king of cups shifts here because of a shift of your energy. Okay, this is a massive change here coming out of difficult situations here into the calm. Okay, six swords is going into calmer waters. So if you've had a turbulent sort of partnership, 
and you can expect it to move transition into calmer waters and the advice here is to take one day at a time listen to life as in listening to what's in front of you okay not what's going on with someone else here but allow yourself to reclaim your own power reclaim your own power of self okay and surrender surrender to wonder and awe be open to what's going on around you Yes, beautiful energy, pile number two. So this is what I have. I hope this resonated for you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful, gorgeous angels. Pile number three, you guys picked the darkening and the tree pose and yoga. So we're looking at the month ahead, the moon month ahead, okay? And this is coinciding with the new moon in Taurus. And Taurus is an earth sign, and it's all about connecting, getting grounded, connecting to self, connecting to nature connecting to mother earth taking things slow no time for rushing so we're going to look at the month ahead and then we're going to get some guidance from spirits in regards to the energy around you so you guys pick the darkening brave souls and this tree pose so tree pose is all about finding balance okay relieving stress here with the yoga pose and the darkening here is sometimes where we really have to sort of go to the, the depths of ourself in order to find answers. Things dying off in a way in order for there to be new beginnings and healings. But it's sometimes a very dark period. Okay, a dark period of time in our life, in our mind. We have the crow, which is all about death. Crows fly between worlds with communication. We see the snake, which is all about healing and transformation and wisdom. Shedding the old so there could be the new trying to find balance so let's take a look use your intuition what you will see feel or hear to determine whether this is indeed your message only you can do this all right so let's take a look what this new moon energy is bringing in for you voyage look at that big whale two whales and we have the moon in the background the moon is all about subconscious which i'm feeling here and whale is a big energy when it comes to love and compassion and voyage could certainly be this sort of inner voyage sheila nagig fertility and creativity wow creativity coming through here birthing something matcha with strength and endurance look at that it's beautiful leo energy coming through i'm also feeling scorpio energy a yeah, 13 transformation scorpio energy child okay child is about innocence inner child uh, potentially digging into her subconscious connecting with the inner child we have the jack of spades which is the jack of swords um that could be the page or the knight of swords okay coming through and because we have the child i am picking up more page of swords energy asking questions getting curious beginning stages of understanding something in the subconscious understanding your fears maybe understanding some sort of transformation yeah rebirth look at that you guys wow rebirth transformation death illuminate the the lantern from the hermit again this voyage is all about self sort of discovery illuminate is when we have some sort of understanding we now become very clear about certain things by having to go inwards and asking ourselves questions magic beautiful magic i'm getting high priestess energy from this pisces gorilla take the time to listen compassionately to those you love especially your family members so we had compassion coming with the whale and taking time out is this hermit energy and i feel like it's taking time out for self to build strength and confidence okay so we have consistency with cyrus dog star bright star 41 or the number five so dogs about loyalty and i'm feeling there's a need to be loyal to self here and we have consistency okay and we have the last quarter moon in aquarius reflect on your priorities yes this is all about self i'm feeling vanity this could be the ego card the blu-ray which is throat chakra it's all about our authenticity how we communicate and how we understand um authentically showing up authentically okay and then we have the veil the beyond 
esoterica and the subconscious, which was coming through with the moon. The subconscious, the veil, needing to illuminate something here. Let go. Cancer energy coming through. And we have the whip. Number 11. 11 is a master number. Divine inspiration, synchronicity, encouragement to keep going. We see the crows here again. Crows are all about the death, transformation. Now we have the jack of clubs. So I'm feeling knight of wands here. And the whip, which is a challenging card in the Lenormand because it's where we've gone through suffering, pain. Okay, let me sit with this energy for a little bit and see what we have here. Okay, pile number three. I feel it has been very difficult for you. You're in the thick of it, aren't you? Um, of self-discovery. And it seems almost larger than life. And it seems almost like more than you can handle. And so I feel like there is... Um, a mishmash of stuff here because when we're in the middle of a transition sometimes our old self comes through and then it causes a lot of confusion because we don't know who we are and we kind of understand what we're maybe supposed to do or what's coming through and we do feel a massive shift and change but because nothing's really manifested of the new self and we still have pieces of the old self kicking around habits and things and people in our life we're not sure. We're not sure what we're supposed to really be doing to support ourselves in this new sort of energy because it's slow. It's not like a light switch you turn on and now you're a, you, a new you. So I feel a massive, massive, massive spiritual awakening shift here. Whoever I'm reading for here, you're shedding. You're shedding ego. You're shedding old things, habits, people. Lots is going away, and you're not sure how to let go of some of it. Some of it you know needs to go. You're getting very clear about it. You're not wanting to maybe even be around people. Because you really want to get over whatever this is. Because it's an uncomfortable feeling when we're in this, this sort of mm, inner journey, I guess, if you will. So it's pulling on your strength. It's pulling on your courage. It's pulling on you being consistent in getting through this and really reflecting on what's important to you and being there for self, being compassionate, being strong for self, trusting in the things we don't see, but that we know and feel when we connect to spirits, when we connect to dreams, when we connect to certain signs, symbols, synchronicities, and the unknown. And there's a lot of pain that surfaces in the subconscious, things that we weren't really expecting to see, things that... Um, bubble up in regards to our troubled childhood or inner child sort of things that we might have not have even known that we carried that could have been impacting us for a long time now becomes very prevalent and we can see clearly and there's certain things we still cannot see and so we start to go through it okay so i feel like you're going through it and so this new moon energy is showing you sitting with this energy of peeling the layers of old self and what you're doing here is you're creating a new version of yourself and this new self is going to take some time but it's being birthed into the world here so you can create something very beautiful that will come that you will see you'll see very clearly Okay, but in order to see this, we need to work with certain parts of ourself that are still sort of in subconscious when it comes to ego. We need to release certain things in our life that are clouding our judgment or not allowing us to be the most authentic version of self, expressing what we want, who we are, what we need, releasing what, what might have been us and no longer serves us, and consistently sort of working and, and chiseling away at that path with compassion with understanding, with love, as the old sheds, the new version of you comes out and you become this beautiful, magical person who's connected to source, spirit, love, 
but I feel like in order for one to get here, they suffer quite a bit. And I feel like you've suffered. And I do feel like you're suffering through this process because this process isn't always fun. Although what Spirit wants you to know here is that it might not be fun, but knowing to be compassionate with self and knowing that you're going to create something here and not lose hope that you're creating a beautiful version of self and that something will be manifest manifested as a result of your experience and that everything you shed once you see it once you become aware of it it no longer plagues you it no longer controls you it no longer gets in the way of who you are and what you're creating so you only need to see it and experience the pain or the recognition of what it is once, the block, the suffering. Okay, so as the suffering comes, you recognize what's going on and you release certain parts. And so I feel there's a dark night of the soul happening here, you guys, and I feel for you. This isn't fun energy. And I don't feel as though this is just going to come on spontaneously with this new moon. I feel like you've been battling this for a while but i do feel with this new moon it's more of this sort of peeling of the layers and this understanding you get more clear about why this process is happening and you start to get more clear about what it is you need to let go maybe what you are still defending or maybe what still hasn't come out of the subconscious and so as you slowly peel that away, you make movement, you make progress. Spirit, for beautiful pile three, please, can we get a deeper look at this energy with the new moon in Taurus for pile three? What are they needing to know right here, right now in regards to this energy for beautiful pile three? Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile three. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Pile 3, for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. I am truly blessed. Thank you so much. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Hierophant in reverse. Taurus energy. Two of Wands in reverse. High Priestess in reverse. We were feeling High Priestess from this magic, and I swear to you, all these cards are not in reverse. High Priestess's intuition is the subconscious. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Two Pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. Don't read Bottom of the deck, reverse. And the Fool in reverse. So, I swear to you, they're not all in reverse. You feel stuck. You guys feel stuck. Okay? I feel like you're not seeing... You're not seeing the big picture here because... Not because you're not supposed to, but... Because it's something that's unfolding. In order for there to be light, we need to sit in the darkness. For there to be light, there needs to be darkness. For there to be transformation, there needs to be something to transform out of. In order for you to have bliss, you need to understand pain. Now, you're not just being thrown in pain and suffering for no reason. But I feel like you're not seeing and this is causing frustration. I feel like there's a lack of confidence in where you're going. You might be cut off from your intuition. You might not know how to tap into your subconscious energy here. And there's a lot of frustration. And so we start to not know what's what. And we start to question a lot about what we value. Who we are. What we're committed to. What we understand. What we know. Okay, so I feel like it's not a time for you to manifest anything. And why is because there's a need for you to work with the energy in which you're sitting in first, that the manifestation will come. But if you're focused on manifesting something here, it, it's, it's not really from a place of what needs to be manifested for you because what needs to happen now is for you to shed a lot of beliefs, values, and systems in your life i feel here okay and i feel like you're not seeing and so you feel deceived by the universe you feel like you have no choice and you feel topsy-turvy and you feel like you're not getting what you want you feel like you can't create what you want 
and you feel thrown into the darkness here. And so Spirit is saying you're being re rebirthed here to, to trust in this voyage, to be your supporting sort of backbone here because you can't see that the universe is there yet. Because although the universe is there and guiding you, you can't see it because you need to experience what you're experiencing here so that you can connect to your intuition so that you can then know how spirit communicates to you through you experiencing what it feels like to be in the darkness. So you feel like you're dependent maybe on, I don't know, whatever sort of set of situations going on or circumstances. And it makes you feel like you can't depend on self, like you're sort of at the mercy of everything and everyone and the universe doesn't seem to be manifesting or working with you and you're not sure what's right and yeah, there's a lot of that coming through, okay? And so the fool in reverse, it's like you can't sort of move on or manifest something new here without going through this experience. And this is a process in itself, again, because when we go through this, we um, we need to go at the pace in which we can handle here. We can't just peel it all back and, and completely turn our lives in a way that is unbearable in some way, okay? So we need to trust in the steps. We need to remain sort of day by day here with the strength and endurance, this gorilla and this consistency, okay? And, and we're reflecting on what's important to us with the Hierophant in reverse. It's like, who matters? What values matter? What can I be true to? What actually is the truth here in my life? I dropped the card. Let me grab it. Spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of beautiful pile three. What do they need to know here? What am I missing? And we will give you guys guidance as well. There's more pile three needs to know in this journey. Please, Spirit, allow me to communicate what pile three is needing to hear. So we have the King of Swords and the Three of Pentacles reveal itself. Three of Pentacles is in reverse. And then we have five cups at the bottom, four cups under that. Yeah, it's, it's a challenge, okay? I'm going to just read you what I see here. It's a challenge. We feel sad. We're looking on things that didn't work in our life it's bringing sadness to us and so we feel despondent we're losing hope we're kind of not interested in anything here because it's sad and heavy we can't work with people we're feeling really disconnected here and we're in our mind but i feel here with this dragonfly this is all about illusions and seeing through illusions an illusion is ego. An illusion is identity that we've created for self and i feel like with the mind here you're stuck in some mind prison of who you think you need to be or what it was that maybe you were and now the truth is coming to light you're now knowing that you're not your mind you're not your experiences you're not what you've manifested in your life you are conscious uh, heart being okay connected to source before you were born before you were indoctrinated before you carried all of these traditions and values you had a being of self consciousness christ consciousness so I feel as though this transformation is you cutting through these illusions so that you can finally see, so that you can see the light, so you can recognize the ego, so you can create something beautiful, so you know how to support yourself, be there for self, so you can release what doesn't serve you. And as you walk through this darkness, you connect to an inner child. You see in your subconscious, and sometimes some days become larger than life. But take one step at a time because I feel like you're needing to experience this in order for you to know sort of the more suffering, the more the transformation here of you understanding what bliss is about. Okay? So we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's something about, you know, you not being able to get what you want. You not being able to manifest. You sort of wanting to maybe move on in some way um but being feeling very stuck here and the reason you're stuck here is because there's a need to experience an awakening so that you can manifest which is truly meant for you okay because you're not seeing very clearly what you think you want and so the universe is intervening here saying pile three this isn't what you want 
This isn't the thing you want, the person you want, the experience you want. You might think you do, but you're not seeing clearly. And so you're needing to experience this sort of experience so that we can become very clear. Although it does bring lots of sadness here. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, imbalance, not receiving what we want from the universe, feeling rejected, dejected. The lovers in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you feel rejected by the universe. You might be in an experience here where you're not getting what you want. And so you're turning inwards, having to really reflect, feeling like the option isn't in front of you to get what you want. The path isn't opening up. The path you feel that you're destined to sort of walk down is no longer there no more. You're not sure what the, the plan is or what the road is for you. So you're having to cut through the veil. What doesn't belong to you? What relationships don't belong to you? What life choices are no longer of value to you? You're reflecting on all this. The hanged man in reverse. So, so many reversals. I feel like you've been stuck in some sort of seeing something, okay? And it might have caused there to be a stall. Because we were really maybe fixated on something that wasn't really the truth. And now we're seeing through it bit by bit by bit. We're understanding where we had a mindset that might have kept us stuck and might have kept us not being able to manifest what we truly want. And so lots of sadness comes with this realization that we might have been, you know, involved in, in keeping us back or that our whatever experience we had here, we feel like, I don't know, we're seeing it from sort of different eyes now. And it comes with sadness, but I, I feel like everything sort of happens here for a reason. So there's a need to be very compassionate. Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members, which I feel is you. Okay, so I do feel as though things aren't really sort of manifesting here just yet for you. Because there's an experience you're having to go through. Now let's get some guidance, because I feel like this is what you're sort of needing to hear in this reading. Because I do feel like... This might be more of the same that you've experienced. You know, it's coming through quite strong, this spiritual transformation. Some of you guys could be having a Kundalini awakening. Definitely a dark night of the soul. Okay, so spirits for Pal 3, guidance, please. Clear and concise messaging for beautiful. Pile number three, what are they needing to know in regards to making this a little easier for them? Four of those, and I am feeling these ones here for pile three spirits beautiful sunflower surrender low self-esteem coming through and one of these you deserve success love and abundance set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem i feel you're losing hope okay so we need to let go of certain things certain beliefs of self that are getting in the way limiting us and that's what you'll be working on. Faithfulness. I commit to my mind, heart, and will. I'm devoted to the needs of my soul. I trust in myself, in God, and the universe. So this is all about trusting divine timing, divine guidance, ourself. Okay, having faith, having hope, believing that things are going to lead you in the right direction, not feeling hopeless or like things will be stuck forever because they won't be. Okay, so we need to build on our self-esteem and build on our sort of our, our trust in self and the universe being true yes i am true to myself and others i remove my mask and stop creating illusions which we talked about with that dragonfly i have confidence in who i am and i reveal the good in me i do not need to hide or prove anything i replace shame with the power of love and truth you're learning about who you are this is what this ego death's about okay we're now seeing ourselves maybe for the very first time and so this opens up a big part of the subconscious here. So we get to see things that we don't no longer see in the same way. And when we see it for the first time, it causes a shock. Okay, but you're shifting, you're transforming. Wisdom, God has a plan for me. Yes, exactly. Okay, there is a plan here. It's a bigger plan than what you're experiencing. I live here, no, sorry, I live here now, knowing beauty is to come. I don't force things to happen faster than the universe has decided for me. I learn from my experiences, take small steps in faith, and succeed thanks to all my efforts. So this is a big part of this reading, which was, we can't force this process. It does not a switch. Like I said, it doesn't happen very fast. 
we can't force it. We can't start to manifest things because we want without experiencing who we are as a person and shedding what we need to and trusting the universe and trusting the universe is going to unfold the way it does. Okay, but we need to trust in our ability to get through this process and release with this let go. I stop fighting my fears and the hardships of life. I control my thoughts, live in the present moment and accept each stage of life. I work on what I have power over and put into God's hands what I can't change. I trust that everything will work out for the best. So are you losing hope? Beautiful pile number three. I feel you are. And this is a word of hope. Okay, look at all the beautiful chakras. So if you haven't done any chakra work, you might want to look at that uh, on YouTube. You know, clearing, cleansing your chakras, meditation. I have a video in my playlist, cleansing chakras. It might help with where there might be blocks. Okay, there might be blocks in your chakra, but you are aware. You're seeing something. I feel you're cutting through the veil and you're seeing yourself, the authenticity, and maybe where you've been devoted and committed to things are now upside down. You no longer believe in certain things you might have at one point. You're releasing things in your life here while remaining true and dedicated to your devotion to spirit and to your ability to get through this transformation. Hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. Exactly. Beautiful. 32. And hawks see things from a greater perspective. I feel like you will see what this was all for. You'll see the bigger picture. You are ascending, okay? This hawk is ascending. You're now going to have a, a gain a bigger, broader perspective of what's going on in your life and see the world from different eyes, okay? But it is a challenge. And with the number five here, I feel like the challenge is this sort of experience coming to a very sort of heavy place in order for there to be growth, in order for there to be a rebuild of yourself. But spirit is guiding you, okay? Spirit is definitely guiding you. You need to find balance, and you, some of you guys might want to take up yoga, you know, find a way to find inner peace, okay? Surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. That's about the balance, mind, body, spirit. So I feel like it's very heavy. If you're trying to get out of this energy, okay, sometimes it's best to do nothing at all, except for rest, obviously, and eat and sleep. Do not pressure yourself to be something you're not. Okay, do not pressure yourself to be like meditating 24 hours a day or you have to give up certain things in your life. Like be compassionate on self. This will come through time. Okay, we don't have to do everything all at once. And I feel like you're seeing something for the first time. And so you're wanting to make change or you're wanting to act on something. Okay, but I feel like this message here is that will come. There's no need to take change right now spirit wants you to sit in what you've realized sit in what's coming up from the subconscious if you see that you were living some lie or it's not yourself anymore or you don't believe or buy into whatever that is sit with that energy you don't need to rip the band-aid remove it from your life instantaneously yes we need to let go and learn to release but we work with the universe however slow it manifests here but don't put pressure on yourself that you need an answer overnight, okay? You don't need answers overnight and only meditate when you feel like meditating. Only connect and do what you need to do when it comes to shadow work when you're feeling up for it. You don't have to constantly be on the grind here, okay? But I feel like you're changing spiritually, mentally. Everything about your life here has been flipped upside down. And I haven't done one of these readings in a while and I do feel your pain because this isn't fun. And you're really, really being asked to trust the universe, trust divine timing. You cannot rush it. Do not try manifesting things until you sit with energy and things become very clear who you are, who you're not. You don't need to identify with ways of maybe what's been told to you or what you thought you might have been at one point. Okay, faithfulness, being true, wisdom, and release. Beautiful pile number three. This is what I have for you. Sorry is so heavy. Um... This isn't for everyone. If you didn't feel some of this already, then this isn't your pile. Okay, this is someone I feel who's been going through it. Might have needed to hear some of these messages. So I do love you very, very much. And I wish you guys the very best. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>